Hi, this is Dr. Francois speaking. I'm the CEO of the Center for Complementary Therapy and Pain Management in Bataramula, Sri Lanka. How are you today? I would like to speak to you about something that everybody loves, food. Yes, food. Uh, in complementary therapy, food is something very important. I am not today going to talk about the biological aspect of the food, as I am an energy healing therapist, and I would like to uh, talk about the energy aspect of the food, right? Not the caloric aspect of the food, energy. First of all, you must know that we live in a sea of energy, right? Uh, universal energy is everywhere. And we absorb the energy, as I previously mentioned, through the chakra. We have the crown chakra, we have the ajna chakra, throat, front, back, uh, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, navel chakra, sex chakra, etc. Basic chakra, all right? So we know that the chakra are absorbing the prana, the energy. But did you know that food also absorb energy from the universe? And when we are eating food, we also are absorbing this energy. We are absorbing not only the nutrients in the food, we also absorb the pranic energy. Okay? So, for example, in the universe, there is uh, four types of energy. Uh, we are identifying the uh, cosmic energy, the energy that comes from the universe. We have sun prana, the energy that comes from the sun. We have air prana, the energy that comes from the air. There is uh, ground prana also. And the food are actually absorbing a little bit of all of these kind of pranic energy. Let's take, for example, roots, okay? Potato, carrots, and all the food that are roots, right? These foods are planted, are seeded into Mother Earth. They are absorbing, of course, a lot of minerals. They are absorbing a lot of, uh, and they are processed into, um, uh, into a, a, a nutrient that contains a lot of biological nutrients. However, there is also into the carrot uh, a ground prana, right? Because the carrot is a root. It is absorbing ground prana. But without sun, without the intervention of the sun, the carrot cannot grow because the carrot grow thanks to the leaves that absorb the sun prana and that proceed to the photosynthesis, right? So sun prana has a big factor into feeding the carrot that you are eating. But not only sun prana, air prana. Air prana is absorbed through the carrot because uh, sun prana is over air. Okay, the sun actually is charging air, the atmosphere, not only with photon energy, but with chi, with air prana. So with this energy, the carrot is also absorbing, exchanging molecules of uh, oxygen, of uh, CO2 that actually are in the air. And there is a molecular process, but in this molecule, there are some air prana. So uh, as you can see, uh, the, the food that you eat are not only containing biological components that feed your physical body, but there is also, um, there is also a, a, an energy aspect of it, uh, right? Uh, I would like to talk to you about processed food. Uh, processed food are most of the time food that have been cut down, processed digested in a way, right? So processed food is not uh, raw food. Processed food has been cooked, has been transformed into uh, a lot of different processes. Along the way, each time that you are processing food, not only are you cutting down on the biological component and the biological properties of the food which are known, but you are also uh, 
uh, wasting some of the prana that is inside of the food. Uh, the therapist, the pranic healing and the energy healing therapists are trained to scan with our hands, right? We are scanning the energy. We feel the energy of human being, of patient, when we are healing these people. When we are scanning processed food, in fact, we can find out that the processed food are having a very low tone of energy. The aura of the food, because food also has aura, not only uh, human bodies have aura, but the food, they are biological component. And the food that is processed, the aura of the food is very tiny, 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 small. So the pranic energy that you are absorbing through uh, the food that are processed is very low. But as you know already, processed food is not good for health, not as good as unprocessed food, because there is low, uh, uh, the, the nutrients of uh, the processed food is proven to be lower, right? So when you are eating processed food, as opposed as when you are eating less processed food, well, you eat not only less nutrient, but you eat uh, less uh, uh, prana. So you feed yourself by a lower amount of pranic energy. The end result is having less pranic energy that you, are, you need to, uh, to live your life. Because we are not only fed by the, by the food, we are also feeding ourselves uh, through our chakra. And now we know through the food with pranic energy. I would like to address also today uh, veganism, uh, vegetarian food, as opposed to non-vegetarian food. So that's a very delicate question because people are telling, well, you are promoting uh, vegetarian food instead of non-vegetarian food. Actually, I'm not promoting nothing. Uh, pranic healer, energy healing therapists are not promoting anything. In fact, we are just uh, giving information about uh, what kind of food contain the most pranic energy. And when we are scanning meat, non-vegetarian uh, non, uh, non food, when you are scanning the meat, in, uh, we are finding that the, 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 the meat that we are eating also contains less pranic energy. So it's just a matter of having less pranic energy uh, out of the food. It's not about promoting or non-promoting uh, veganism, vegetarian, not at all. Uh, you choose your way uh, of life. Uh, this is a personal choice. Uh, you are not into the obligation of stopping to eat uh, meat. However, when you reduce the amount of meat that you are uh, eating in your daily supplement, in, in your daily life, you are going to eat uh, a more healthy diet and you are going to feed yourself with more pranic energy. There is another factor to uh, take into account is um, the quality of energy. The qualitative aspect of the pranic energy contained into meat, but it's not completely dead. Of course, when we scan meat, there is energy. There is less, but there is. The, the, the quality of the energy that we find in meat is more uh, dirty, I would say, like that. So um, if you take the, the, the comparison with uh, the carrot that we were talking about previously, and a piece of chicken, well, the qualitative uh, quantity of energy that is in between the carrots and the chicken, definitely by scanning, uh, we can find out that the, the purity, the quality of uh, pranic energy contained in the vegetables, in the fruits, are much higher, much cleaner. So when you prevent to eat uh, processed food, when you prevent to eat more meat, you actually are getting more 
um, pranic energy. Right. Now, let's talk about sugar. Uh, we know that sugar is not so good for health, right? There is a lot of studies that are demonstrating that sugar actually are cancer food. Uh, recently, there were studies uh, that were demonstrating that uh, sugar is completely uh, addictive and as addictive, uh, as addictive as cocaine, for example. Uh, of course, these, these studies are to be pursued and completed and developed. But uh, this is clear that in the behavior of people that are used to take uh, sugar and sweets, uh, demonstrate the fact that they become addict to it in a way that they don't want to stop. They keep thinking of taking again, again, and again their sweets, their sugar. So that's for this uh, addict addiction aspect. The nutritional aspect of sugar, of course, you uh, know very well that uh, we are eating empty calories and actually it's not feeding our body, right? It is, uh, it is uh, giving us uh, uh, just empty calorie and uh, it's not feeding properly our body. The quality of the, the, the intake uh, of the, the supplement that are contained in the food is very low. Let's talk about the uh, energy point of view, the energy standpoint of view of sugar. Uh, in Chinese traditional medicine, uh, that analyze also uh, the, the energy aspect of uh, the food and of everything into uh, medic medicinal practice, uh, it was discovered that uh, the, the sweets, the sugar that we are taking, actually is not giving us energy, right? People that are taking sweet are telling, well, I feel more energized, I feel more strong, I feel excited because I eat food, I eat sugar. But in fact, uh, uh, traditional Chinese medicine discovered that sugar is not giving you extra energy. Sugar, what it is doing, it, it is tapping into your natal qi. Uh, natal qi is different from universal qi, right? My practice as energy healing therapist is channeling universal energy and projecting on uh, a body part of a patient to heal it, right? With universal energy. This is one type of chi, right? There is different type of chi that is already in our body when we are born. We call it natal chi. In, um, in Chinese traditional medicine, this is how they are calling it. The natal chi circulates inside of our body and we need a certain amount of that to live and it mixes with uh, universal energy by the way those two energies are very important let's come back to sweets <clears throat> what does it do uh, the the sugar actually is uh, tapping into this natal chi in this natal chi means the chi that you were born with and this natal chi is very powerful but the natal chi doesn't renew right you have a certain amount of energy, you have it when you are born, until you die. You don't have additional uh, amount of that, it is not renewable, right? Uh, natal chi, uh, when you tap in with sugar into natal chi, the, the body will, um, <coughs> you will uh, emit a lot more of natal chi and become excited. So you tap in into that kind of chi, but at the end, you become depleted. When you become very excited after eating sugar, after a certain amount of time, there is no more natal chi that is uh, emitted, that is uh, a, 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 taken from your body, and then you become depleted, you become tired, you become depressed. So in fact, uh, sugar is depleting your body from your natal chi, right? There is a lot more to say about uh, the food. Uh, there is a lot more to say about, I would say, the, the, the biological property of food. I will talk about that later. But today, I just wanted to make you aware that when you are eating food, you are also absorbing energy. 
All right, so keep in touch, uh, continue following me. I will give you more information about energy healing, food, and all sorts of aspects. Aiboan, Stuti, Nandri, thank you. Goodbye.